Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. Now I've already done a review of the Loxley Featherweight Green Darts. So in this video we've got the Loxley Featherweight Blue. Blue is my second favourite colour by the way. So let's check them out. So these are only available in steel tip and only in 18 grams. The 90% tungsten and the retail for £41.95. So the darts come in the slim cardboard packaging and obviously this one's blue, same feather graphics on the box as the green ones but in a blue colour. Inside the darts are fitted with the Loxley medium nylon stems and they come with the Loxley standard shape feather effect flights in blue colour. So the darts fit with a black coated point and it's kind of like a, a tapered straight barrel style. Um, obviously you've got that taper there and a parallel section but I think it's actually a very gradual taper towards the end of the dart there. It looks thinner there than it is there. So a very slight taper I think but I'll have to get the calipers on to be 100% sure. And it's made of a fairly decent grip, ring style grip. Got quite a chunky feel there at that front, so it's probably slightly front weighted. And obviously you've got that smooth band maybe just slightly past middle. And then at the very end some slightly finer ring grip. But uh, it looks quite a nice shape dart actually. And there's the Loxley medium nylon stems and the Loxley blue standard shape feather effect flights. So you've got a tapered nose with these darts and it's a fairly thin ring grip with curved grooves in between. And it's pretty much the same all the way along but I think that front section the grooves look as if they're a little bit deeper cut. I don't know if you can see there but if you look there quite deep on the nose and then slightly shallower further along and then you've got that smooth band in the middle with the Loxley logo and then on the rear it looks like the grooves are almost the same depth as what's on the front so a little bit of variation in the depths of the grooves and then a very fine ring grip right at the end so that's the super close look at the Loxley featherweight blue darts The darts fit with a black coat 28mm point, there's a smooth tapered section at the front 2mm and then you've got this thin ring grip with the fairly deep curved grooves that's 24.8mm and then you've got a smooth band with the Loxley logo that's 4.6mm then you've got more of the thin ring grip that's 11mm and then on the end a very fine ring grip of 3.3 millimeters length 45.7 millimeters widest 6.96 millimeters seventeen point nine four grams seventeen point nine four grams again And 17.96 grams. Full setup, 20.06 grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup. And this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. Maybe just slightly above medium, so 5.5 at most. Ooh, that felt really nice in the fingers. <laughs> um, seemed to be flying quite nice as well. It's got quite a nicely front balance style, I think. 
I'm almost certain there's a slight bulbousness there, uh, kind of a bit like the uh, Priestly teardrop shape, but not as severe as that. I know you've already seen the dimensions, but I haven't properly measured them yet. So, but in my fingers, it definitely feels like there's a like a kind of a spring onion bulbous kind of a shape to that front. It's got quite a nice balance though. It's only a short dart like, so that helps. But uh, depending on where you hold it, I suppose you might find that comfortable or not comfortable. I think maybe if you just slightly past where it bulges, it kind of sits in the fingers quite nice. Oh, spun off a bit that one. But they were flying through the air quite nice there. So it does feel quite a nice one for a front grip. I think that's in the treble that. <laughs> Is that in as well? I'm not too sure. Oh, that second one was in. And the first. <laughs> oh. Am I ever going to get a 180 with the mid grip? I'm holding it just a little bit front of the smooth band there. Um, now it kind of feels as if it's tapering the dart to me. It's only very subtle though. It's uh, Like I say, I haven't uh, got my calipers on them yet, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's just a very slight taper. What? Oh, <laughs> treble 80. It feels quite a nice little dart, really nice balance to it. It's quite nice from the front and certainly not too bad from the middle. Oh. Off a bit there like. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's going to be okay for mid grippers, but obviously you've got that smooth section there, so um, it's kind of maybe just a little bit past the centre there, so it will depend on where you're gripping it, but just a nice little dart overall for balance, but certainly uh, one that is going to still work for front and mid grippers. See what it's like from the rear grip. <laughs> oh, I've got a treble. <laughs> I'll have that. So I'm holding it pretty much right at the end of the dart here. So the barrel's a little bit slimmer. It seems to taper and gets thinner to the rear. But the grip is still the same, like the, the ring grip. But I think balance-wise, it was probably nicest at the front. Got another treble from the rear grip. <laughs> but it is only a short dart, like I said, so balance overall isn't bad wherever you're holding it. So I think it's a nice one overall and probably going to suit any, whether you're front, mid or rear, but maybe front grippers might get the best from it. But some of them were flying all right there from the rear. It's quite a nice, enjoyable little dart to throw, actually.
Oh, treble one. <laughs> treble one champion. I might as well get another treble one just to confirm it. <laughs> so, <laughs> there you go. That's the Loxley Featherweight. <coughs> God, frog in me throat. Featherweight blue darts. Um, actually, maybe one of the nicest light darts I've thrown, actually. It has a really nice feel to them. Uh, quite enjoyed throwing them. Now, if you're a fan of the Priestley style, um, you might like these because it, it's definitely got a slight feel to them about these. But it's obviously not as a Sophia bulbous section but there's definitely that kind of a feel and a slightly front weighted bias uh, so maybe front grippers are probably going to get the best from it but it didn't seem to be flying too bad from the mid or the rear section so if it's the kind of style that you you fancy and you're a mid and rear gripper and you like a light weight then still might be worth a look so i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a close look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy dieting.